Hello and welcome, this is Srinidhi and you're watching Peace News International, starting with the headlines. A special program across the Bridge of Stars, from a human to an angel, was held at St. Petersburg in Russia. BK Santosh addressed the gathering. A workshop was convened at the Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Washington, D.C. Marianne Williamson and BK Jenna spoke on the power of trust. And Brahma Kumaris were invited at the European Union Parliament in Brussels. BK Pyle was felicitated as ambassadors for Ayurveda. Now the news in detail. The magnetic personality of Brahma Baba, the corporeal founding father of the Brahma Kumaris, became the focal point at the festive public event across the Bridge of Stars from a human to an angel, organized at the Brahma Kumaris Lighthouse Retreat Center in St. Petersburg, Russia. The audience included many dignitaries, educationalists and artists who have been in contact with the BK Center about the milestones of Brahma Baba's spiritual journey. BK Santosh, director of the Brahma Kumaris in St. Petersburg, shared her deepest feelings Nirakari, Nirvikari and Nirankari. That is, just stay in this truth of your original identity that you are a soul. Because only then my vision for others can become totally pure and my thinking can change. Later on, vibrant live sounds of a violin seemed to be a new language expressing subtle feelings of the heart, overcoming all the limitations of verbal communication. Moving on to Washington, D.C., knowing how and where to trust can be a very difficult decision. Now is the time and here is the place to return to your power to trust yourself again. To discuss more on the topic, Power of Trust, a workshop was organized at the Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Washington, D.C. The event was addressed by Marianne Williamson, who is an internationally acclaimed lecturer, activist, best-selling author and a former presidential candidate. She has been one of America's most well-known public voices for more than three decades. From a spiritual perspective, on the level of what is ultimately real, which is not necessarily seen by the physical eye, divine intelligence continues to work. But the whole idea of human incarnation is that in any given moment we can make a decision. In fact, in any given moment we do make a decision. We either make a conscious decision or we make an unconscious decision. And that decision is, I will either allow the universal intelligence to work through me or I will block it. The event was opened with a mesmerizing song by Ivy Hilton, who is a renowned singer and author. BK Jenna, director of the Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Washington, D.C., also shared her views on trust. Let there be light, let there be light. May God heal the world, bless. Many of us who speak the language of spirituality or consciousness or illumination, we sometimes aren't courageous enough to put ourselves in the fire with the faith and the trust that I'll come out alive. Later on, the workshop continued with question-answer session and concluded with a meditation session to Raj Yoga commentary. We see in the middle of our mind a little ball of golden light. And now we watch this light as it begins to grow larger and larger. Until now, it covers the entire inner vision of your mind. And we see for ourselves within this light a beautiful temple. We see a garden that surrounds the temple and a body of water that flows through the garden. 
News from China. The 71st Republic Day of India was celebrated with great zeal and fervor at the Indian Consulate in Guangzhou, China. BK Sapna, the center coordinator of Brahma Kumaris in Guangzhou, was specially invited in the program. The Diamond Culture Group of the Brahma Kumaris was also invited to be part of the VIP reception organized by the Indian Consulate. Sujit Kosh, Consular General of India in Guangzhou. Quinn Weizong, Vice Governor of Guangdong Province. Consular Generals of various countries' consulates in Guangzhou, along with eminent dignitaries of Guangdong Province, were also present at the gathering. News from Belgium at the European Parliament in Brussels, Belgium, an event was organized by the UK-based APPG Indian Traditional Sciences and Secretariat Amarjeet S. Bhamra for marking the fourth Ayurveda day, consecutively since its inception by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. BK Pyle from Trinidad was the guest speaker who represented the Brahma Kumaris. B.K. Payal was felicitated as Ambassador for Ayurveda for her special services to the community. Dinesh Thamija, MEP, Nina Gill, CBE MEP, Joe Lennon, MEP, and Her Excellency Gayatri Isar Kumar, Ambassador of India to Belgium, Luxembourg, and the European Union, were guests of honor at the program. At Kolkata in India, a splendid spiritual congregation organized in Gyan Manch by the Kolkata Museum Center on the theme Feeling God's Magic was opened with beautiful welcome performances. In this program, senior Brahma Kumari sisters from India and abroad assembled and inspired people by sharing their enlightened wisdom and experiences. BK Muni, the headquarter coordinator of the Brahma Kumaris from Mount Abu, graced the event. दीदी जी की राइट हैंड बंद करके रही आज्ञाकारी वफादार फरमानदार ईमानदार फेक फूल सच्चाई और सफाई से सदा रही और जो भी आज्ञा मिले वो तुरंत कार्य कर देगा ये मेरा फार्मूला था उसने मुझे आज यहाँ तक पहुँचाया है इन द प्रोग्राम बी के गीता डायरेक्टर ब्रह्मा कुमारीज इन लॉस एंजलिस BK Bhavna, Director of Brahma Kumaris in New Zealand, BK Hemlata, Director of Brahma Kumaris in Trinidad, and BK Pratiba, Coordinator of Brahma Kumaris in Nairobi, Kenya, bestowed spiritual gems. कोई भी पॉल्यूशन नहीं है, बहुत सारी ग्रीनरी है और हाथों से फूल फल तोड़ करके खाते हैं, तो वहाँ की आवाज़ भी अच्छी है, बेस्ट भी रहते हैं। और बाबा के ज्ञान में भी चलते हैं यहाँ पर आते हैं तो बोलते हैं हम हमको कलकत्ता जरूर जाना है मेरे को सचमुच में लगा कि यही एक संस्था है जिसमें मैं अपना जीवन तो अच्छा बना ही सकती हूँ परंतु विश्व की आत्माओं को भी मैं मदद कर सकती हूँ दादी हमेशा कहती थे कि अपने भारत की कुमारियों को प्रभा कुमारी बनाया है लेकिन फॉरेन की अभी तक बनी नहीं है जेंटी बेन और सुमन बेन थी लेकिन वो तो भारत में जन्मी है इसलिए उनको बनाया लेकिन आपको हमको सोचना पड़ेगा फिर भी फर्स्ट कुमारी और फर्स्ट प्रमा कुमारी अभी तो हमारा बहुत बड़ा स्टाफ है जब जब वहाँ से अपने ब्राह्मण परिवार मधुबन आते हैं भारत आते हैं तो शुरू में हम पूछते थे कि भारत में आपको इतनी गंकी नहीं दिखाई देती तो बहुत बड़ा प्यार से जवाब दिया कि यहाँ गरीबी आंखों में जब हम देखते हैं तो बहुत ही शांति का अनुभव दिखाई देता है जो हमने आज तक भी ऐसी शांति का अनुभव नहीं देखा बी के कानन द डिरेक्टर ऑफ ब्रह्मा कुमारीज इन कोलकाता एंड बी के विद्या द कोऑर्डिनेटर ऑफ ब्रह्मा कुमारीज इन कानपुर वर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन द इवेंट Moving on to Indonesia, Kalimantan is the largest island in Indonesia. PK Janki, the national coordinator of Brahma Kumaris in Indonesia, visited the eastern place of the island, Balikpapan, and gave the godly message. The program was held in a five-star hotel where many participants from the locality gathered and took the spiritual knowledge. 
On the whole, the participants who attended the three-day program took a lot of benefit and agreed to have further similar programs. The introduction of spiritual knowledge was given to young surgeon doctors at Brahmakumari's Himalaya Center in Denpasar in Bali. About 25 surgeons received knowledge about how important mind control is and to be focused and stable in carrying out the duties and profession as doctors. The event was addressed by BK Janaki, the national coordinator of Brahma Kumaris in Indonesia. BK Dr. Putu Yasa and Sister Dharmavati were also present. Thank you very much for watching Peace News International and have a great day ahead. Bye for now and Om Shanti.